Hello, in today's video I'm going to be talking about two separate things. The first one is how to remove and install these sliding hooks. The second one is how to install a new motor. Now both of these apply to the electric EO wheel 6.0 and the 6.1. So let's get started with the sliding hooks. You will notice that the sliding hooks here have um, one of them is facing downwards and the other one is facing upwards. And the reason for that is to help balance things out when you're spinning yarn. So you want to do that. The other thing you'll notice is that the little O-rings are always facing inwards. And that's just so that when you slide them out to the end, the hooks can reach further out onto the bobbins. It just works a little bit better. Either way does work, but I find that putting the O-rings on the inside portion of the arm works a little better. So to remove them, all you have to do is just pop off this little cap here. Um, these come off pretty easily with your finger. If they come off too easily for you, you can put um, a little piece of tape or even a little bit of uh, fiber in here and then stick them on and that'll hold them on a little bit stronger. But uh, they do seem to work pretty well the way they shift. And once those have been removed, you just slide off the hooks like this. And you slide off the other hook. And in your parts bag, you probably have little extra of these rings and if yours are worn out or if they break you just put a new uh, ring on there like that and then to install them just make sure the hook portion is facing outward the o-ring goes on first and then i kind of just sort of wiggle it on and sometimes that o-ring gets a little stuck and then once it's on you can move it back and forth if that happens but generally that's all there is to putting these hooks on so i'll do one more here so i just sort of Put the arm on like that, move it back and forth a few times, which gets the O-ring out of the way, and you're all set. And that's all there is to changing these uh, sliding hooks. And then you can put your ends back on, and you're good to go. Next up, I'll be showing you how to change the motor. Just take off the drive belt like this. I generally like to take off the flyer for this one. Just makes things a little bit easier. So the first step is there's a little set screw um, on the pulley and you want to face that downward and then there's this little wrench that came with your electric gear wheel 6. You want to stick that in there and when you get that in you can just loosen that. You don't have to take it all the way out just loosen it a turn or so and then your pulley will slide right off like that slides on and off, it's pretty easy. But once that's off, you have access to these two Phillips screws. So this is the only tool you'll have to provide, um, a Phillips screwdriver, and all you have to do is put that in there and you loosen up these two screws like this. So that one should be pretty loose. And we do the other one, we just loosen it. Once they're loose, the motor will kind of fall out. And then we're good with that portion. There's one other cable um, with six wires sort of holding it in place. You just unplug that. And then at this point, the motor is completely disconnected and you can put your new motor in. To do that, you just plug these six wires back into your new motor just like that and then you will put this in here then you'll use your phillips screwdriver to tighten the screws so you'll get one and we'll get the second one these don't have to be really tight you just want to get them nice and snug and that's pretty much all there is to it then the last step is going to be putting the pulley back on use your hex wrench or allen wrench to tighten the pulley and you're all done that's all there is to changing the motor on an electric eel wheel 6 or 6.1 thanks for watching